Welcome. I want to discuss an eye-opening discussion on the hidden factors contributing to high blood pressure that many people, as well as many doctors, overlook. While we often hear about the dangers of high sodium intake and obesity, there's another significant player in the game that no one's talking about. It's called high insulin levels. And today we're going to dive in how this often overlooked factor can impact your blood pressure and what you can do about it. So let's start with the basics. Insulin is a hormone that helps regulate blood sugar levels. However, when our bodies become resistant to insulin, it leads to a higher level of insulin in the bloodstream, a condition known as hyperinsulinemia. And this condition can trigger a cascade of physiological responses that ultimately increase our blood pressure. And one key mechanism involves the kidneys. Insulin can cause the kidneys to retain more sodium, leading to increased blood volume. This happens because insulin stimulates the reabsorption of sodium in the renal tubules. As sodium levels rise, water also is retained to maintain osmotic balance. And thereby, this increases our blood volume. Imagine your arteries as a garden hose. When sodium retention increases blood volume, it's like turning up the water pressure in the hose, making it harder for blood to flow smoothly. And this increased pressure forces our heart to work harder, leading to high blood pressure. And additionally, high insulin levels can activate the sympathetic nervous system. This response causes blood vessels to constrict and the heart rate to increase further elevating our blood pressure. The sympathetic nervous system is part of the body's fight or flight response, and its activation can lead to sustained increase in blood pressure. And one of the main contributors to insulin resistance is excessive consumption of refined and processed sugars. These sugars cause rapid spikes in blood sugar and insulin levels, which over time can lead to insulin resistance. Additionally, diets low in fiber can exacerbate this condition as fiber helps regulate our blood sugar levels and improves insulin sensitivity. So how can we address this issue? The key lies in our diet and lifestyle. Reducing refined carbohydrates and sugars is crucial. Focus on foods such as vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Incorporating more fiber-rich foods can also help stabilize our blood sugar levels. Another effective strategy is intermittent fasting, which has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity by giving the body a break from constant insulin production. Regular physical activity is another powerful tool in combating insulin resistance. Exercise helps your muscles use glucose more effectively, reducing the need of insulin. Additionally, managing stress and getting adequate sleep are crucial. Chronic stress and sleep Deprivation can exacerbate insulin resistance, so practices like meditation, yoga, or even a daily walk can make a significant difference. And research has shown that addressing insulin resistance can lead to a significant improvement in our blood pressure levels. And evidence suggests that focusing on insulin levels could be a game changer for many people struggling with hypertension. And in conclusion, while high sodium and obesity are definitely important factors, don't overlook the role of insulin in managing your blood pressure level. By making informed dietary choices, incorporating intermittent fasting, and adopting a healthier lifestyle, you can take control of your health and potentially reduce your risk of hypertension. I hope you found this video helpful. Please share it with your friends and family. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.